Welcome back to this primary election day in Missouri. The polls are still open until 7 tonight. If you're in line before 7, you can still vote. Now, voters are choosing candidates for Congress, State Senate, prosecuting attorney, and St. Louis County executive. And voters in St. Louis County will also be deciding on three propositions. Prop A, M, and V. Those props concern whistleblowers, pay raises for council members, and the county executive's power to fill vacant jobs. Voters in St. Louis City will be voting on two propositions, Prop S and F. Prop S will approve $160 million to repair schools. Prop F increases the fines for illegal dumping to $1,000. Well, more than 4 million are registered to vote in today's primary election, but the Secretary of State doesn't even expect half of those voters to even head to the polls. And our Missouri Chief Capitol Bureau reporter Emily Manley asked why that is. She continues our live election team coverage from Jefferson City. Emily. Mandy, Secretary of State Jay Ashcroft told me today that he's comparing this primary election actually to 2018. That year, 25% of the registered voters headed to the polls. Today, he's expecting about 30%. And he says over the years, the number of voters that cast their vote continues to decrease. Sadly, I think it's because most people look at the ballot and say there's nobody on the ballot I like. Even with a hotly contested U.S. Senate race to fill retiring Senator Roy Blunt's seat, Missouri's top election official is prepared for low voter turnout. People are concerned that this politician sounds great when they're running for office, but once they get in there, they're not going to do what they said. With 21 Republicans and 11 Democrats on the ballot for U.S. Senate, he expects other races to take longer to tally. I actually think it may be one of our state Senate races that really goes down to the wire because either state Senate or state House, where it's so competitive. There's also no automatic recounts in Missouri. Candidates have to request it after votes are verified, but only if there's a 0.5% or less different in votes. And then once that certification process has ended, that's when the clock starts for the time for people to be allowed to request a recount or to dispute uh, the vote totals. Now, even though there are a lot of races throughout the entire state, Ashcroft tells me that he's not expecting a recount to be needed. Now, another reminder is that if you are in line by 7 p.m. this evening, you will have your chance to vote. Ashcroft tells me that we're expecting unofficial election results to be in between 11 p.m. and midnight. Reporting live tonight from Missouri State Capitol Bureau in Jefferson City, I'm Emily Manley, Fox 2.